Hey guys, it's Jed here from Disrupt Tutoring. Always so nice to be with you. I'm going to get straight into the question. Now the examiner have given us this table and we see that there is an X, a row for X and a row for Y, which basically means that um, we're looking at the relationship between X and Y. So we can see that when X is 1, Y is 4. When X is 2, Y is 5. When X is 3, Y is 6. And when X is 4, Y is 7. So what we're going to do is we're going to evaluate each one of the options they give us and see which one gives us the right answer. Now, let's write the working out to the right hand side. Now we're going to assume that X equals 1 and see what the result is. So if X equals 1, we know that 5 times 1 equals 5. But now the problem there is when X is 1, Y should be 4. So we know that that can't be the right answer. If we do the next one, let's see, we've got Y equals 3 times 1. And that gives us 3. Okay. So again, we know that when X is 1, it should be 4. So that can't be the right answer either. Now, let's move on to C. So we've got Y equals 1 plus 4 which equals 5. Again, we know that can't be the right answer because we need a y that equals 4. So d must be the right answer, but let's just double check. y equals 1 plus 3, which equals 4. And there we go. We see y is 4 when x is 1, and d is definitely the right answer. Before I go, guys, quick shout out to Bonnie's Waterworld. They sponsored this video. They made it happen. If you're keen to learn how to swim, if your family member is keen to learn how to swim or to become a better swimmer, Reach out to them. Their details are in the description below. As for us, make sure you look in through our website for more awesome videos. And if we haven't answered your question yet, send it to us and we will mention you in the video. That'll be quite cool. So until next time, guys, stay epic.